So here's a summary of the program we just wrote. I highlighted in yellow the name of the library that we're using for the RAND function, the C standard lib, as well as the two statements where we are calling the RAND function and then modifying the value so that we get values one through six. So let's take a look at what's happening. Every time we run this program, we are getting the same numbers. The reason for that is the first number when we call the RAND function is calculated from a special number called the seed. And all the numbers that are calculated are calculated from the previous number. So in mathematical functions, it looks something like this. The very first number that we get from RAND uses a seed value as input to a function there's a complex mathematical formula for generating a random number. We're not so concerned about that. But that seed value is going to influence the number that I get the first time. The next number is going to use the last number as input for it. So if I received a number of 7, for the first time I call rand, that 7 would be used the second time I call rand. And then this third number would be using the value of the second number. And that would go on and on and on all the way to the last number that I generate. And we haven't been setting a seed value with our random number function. So we're always running it with an unset seed. So essentially we've set it to zero and we're always using the same seed. We're always getting the same numbers. So this is something that we need to add to our program. And let's see how we can seed the random number generation. So again, the seed is going to be a starting number. It's not the number that we're going to receive. It's just a number we're going to give the function so that when we generate random numbers, they're going to be different from the last time we ran the program. We're only going to set this seed once at the beginning of the program before we generate any numbers. And we'll do this by calling another function called srand. And it does have one parameter. Here I put an x as the parameter, but it's going to be whatever the value of our seed is. And so when we call srand with different values, we're using different seeds, and they're going to generate a different pattern of numbers. So how do we figure out what to set our seed to? When I'm first testing my program, I want predictable results because I want to see how they're handled. So I may specifically set the seed to a set number for a test case. And I might have a set of different seeds that I test with. Once I'm satisfied with the program and I'm finished, now I do want truly random results. And I don't want to use the same seed every time I run the program. And so what a lot of people do is they will use a number generated from the system time by calling time zero, and that will be input into the random number generator seed. Every time I run the program, the value of time zero is going to be different, and so I will effectively seed the random number generation with a different value each time. Now one other caveat here is if you want to use the time function, you will also need to add the C time header file. So now that we know how to seed the program or the random number generation, let's modify the dice program.